In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the themes in Adobe Captivate. And if you're like me, and um, maybe you've ignored themes in the past, I'm going to encourage you to just take a closer look at them, because there are some interesting things you can do. Um, I'm going to take my Learning About Canada course here, and we're just going to apply a different theme to it. We'll just... Uh, to see what happens. We'll just kind of play. This will override my previous theme, so I'm going to allow it to do so. The reason I wanted to uh, bring everyone's attention to this is that there's an aspect of themes that perhaps some of you weren't aware of, and I'll get into that in a moment here. So here's my course. Uh, it might look a little funny because I'm applying the clouds theme to something that's obviously very Canadian with the red and white from our Canadian flag, so it might suddenly look out of place, but uh, you'll get an idea of what applying a new theme can do. Instantly change your entire course from one look and feel over to another. So we'll just wait for this. It's obviously got to make a lot of changes, and of course this is a responsive design course as well, so uh, I'm not sure how that affects it, but it could have to make a lot more changes because um, I have five breakpoints in this particular course. So we'll just see how this goes here. So it looks like it's part way through it. Looks like there's some additional slides. There we go. So now we have a totally new looking course. And uh, it looks kind of interesting. You know, it's not what I originally envisioned when I had a um, Canada course, but it's not bad. So one of the things I wanted to bring your attention to is, and this is the reason why I've ignored themes in the past, is because there's like 11 of them. I think that's right, yeah, 11 different themes. So not a lot of choices. And one of those themes, of course, is that very blank white standard theme that comes out of the box with Adobe Captivate. Um, but here's one of the things, and I don't know why I never noticed this, noticed this before, uh, is theme color. So I have the cloud theme applied. Let's just click on theme colors and see what we've got here. So we have the default theme colors for cloud, but there's nothing to say you couldn't actually select an entirely different theme color, if you will. So, you know, you can choose any of these here and see what the results are. It should change the look and feel of your entire course. Even though many of the aspects will remain the same, you'll get an entirely different palette to work with. So as you can see, a completely different look and feel. And that really is kind of exciting because when you consider that you have all of these different palettes to choose from, you know, I mean, it's not just um, the preset theme colors times the 11 or so themes, but even more so when you consider the fact that you can completely come up with your own custom theme colors as well. So in this case, if I wanted to do exactly that, I could go into Customize. And then, of course, here's the actual uh, palette of colors for this particular theme. I really kind of like that orange effect. That's kind of neat. Uh, but maybe you want to change, um, you know, the, the stroke color for this, I believe. You could select maybe something a little darker or something completely interesting and hit Save and see what the effects are. So even though you might have originally thought that themes were limited only to those original 11 or so themes, it's really 11 themes times hundreds of possibilities. It could even be thousands. I haven't even done the math. But I just wanted to bring everyone's attention to that and uh, let you know that there are a lot of possibilities here. And when you combine that, of course, with the new assets feature of Adobe Captivate 9, where you get free access to all of the content from the eLearning Brothers uh, catalog of, uh, of resources, 
you know, you can, you really don't need to design too many custom templates. There's a, a lot of choices for you to use here. So uh, we'll let this uh, continue on. But uh, guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was interesting, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.